Gilbert just twisted his ankle and played through it regardless. What ankle? What, what ankle? An exactly, what life. ankle? What ankle? You can play. No, this guy is different shooting free throws. Why? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> oh what my god! What the hell? What the f***? Look at the clock! No, four, it's like 4.9 <laughs> for 10 seconds, man! Create your own website with ease using Hostinger AI Website Builder. Simply describe what you need in the prompt box and let AI generate a unique website for you. Hostinger. Three, two, online. Welcome back to Basket News Retro with your hosts, Gitas, Augustas, and Donatas. We're back to watch some old games, and this time around, we have Panathinaikos Kos and Barcelona final in 1996 FIBA EuroLeague with legendary hi human highlight reel Dominic Wilkins. Let's just go right into it. So, you know what the life was like in 1996? No, I actually don't know what life was like. In I was four years old. I was one year old. I was minus one years old. Okay. <laughs> Before Gitas. Uh, the most popular song, the biggest hit in 1996 was Oh Macarena. Okay. So that's how old is this game. As well as m movie The Independence Day and The Mission Impossible 1, the first part. They were just like, you know, blooming back and, in the day. And uh, Mr. Yanakis is not a coach that I know from the Greece national team or the Olympiakos. He's actually playing on the court. That's another thing. We have this small court with this three-point line closer yeah. than today. We have 30-second shot clock, 30 which seconds. was crazy. And two halves. And two halves, you're right. Of 20 minutes. Basketball has gone so much through in this like 28 years. Mm. And so much just better, right? So, so much better right now. This is... But honestly, guys, hardly before, watchable. Be before you looked it up, how many of these guys you knew? Maybe Don't five, like maybe six guys. Five or six or yeah. something. Yeah. In total. The main figures. The main figures. Yeah. In total. Yep. Yeah. Of yeah. course. And here's our actual hero of the game, Dominic Wilkins. Probably the reason why we also cho chose this game. Oh yeah, look at that. You have the SK store provided jersey. Yup, retro one. That was a cool one, actually. This is retro jersey that I would like to have, to be honest with you. Not gonna lie, this is probably one of the most beautiful jerseys. True. Of the oldest ones. True. Mm. Iconic. I would put them them at the same tier list with Seattle Supersonics, those green yeah. and white ones. I well, probably they have to be from kind of the same year. Although I would love to have the one from uh, Dominic Wilkins playing for Panathinaikos in 1996. That would be more exclusive for sure. You know what's funny? That the owner of the Panathinaikos football team tried to get this jersey from this actual game after the final. But he didn't let it happen and he took uh, it uh, to his home. And also now his, the jersey of this game of Dominic Wilkins is in his house in Atlanta. Okay. So how the hell Dominic Wilkins ended up playing in Panathinaikos EuroLeague, although he was the NBA star, I would say, back in the day? It was the, the star of the 80s, probably one of the most athletic guys uh, and with the most iconic dunks that I remember. But I, I, I heard from some Greek journalist, uh, whose name is not going to be revealed right now <laughs> for no reason. Uh, he told me that Dino Raja was actually uh, had a good connection with Wilkins and he spoke with him a lot and also with the head coach to, first of all, uh, get uh, Wilkins to the Panathinaikos, but also to fix the relationship because there were some fire between the coach and Dominic. So we'll talk about that a, a little bit as well. Oh yeah, that's for sure. I just, you know, I just thought what happened to his NBA career that mm. he became the player for the EuroLeague market. But uh, the story, the legend that I heard how Panathinaikos decided to go after him was that it was actually actually just few years uh, when Ganakopoulos family took mm -hmm. over the club and Dimitris Ganakopoulos, the son of the owners, was actually the NBA fan and he really loved Dominic Wilkins. Okay. So basically, you know, it was the initial dream, you know, to have this player from the NBA for Panathinaikos and they managed to, to make the deal and uh, I was told by the, my colleagues in Greece that uh, the original contract Ooh, was there you go. six million dollars for two years, so three million dollars per year. But back in the day, you know, three million dollars uh, today would be like six million or something. So it was a huge deal 
1996. And you, and you can see it's paying off already. He's, he's working for the money. And actually, to give some context, the game before that they had against uh, Tesco Moscow, they won uh, by 11 points, but the leader for Panikos was Wilkins with 35 points in the semifinal. Damn. In the final four. In party. To be honest, the beginning for Dominic Wilkins was really hard. Yeah. Uh, because, let's say, according to Greeks, he was overweight, he was not in shape, he couldn't adjust to the game because in the NBA he was uh, used to, you know, this running transition game, playing one-on-one, -on -one, and Bojidar Malkovic is one of the strictest head coaches that we had in the European history. So he liked those long 30-second possessions, you know, disciplined games. So both had clashes from day one, basically. No wonder Panathinaikos every year has some NBA players after I hear this story. Oh yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Who do you remember the most from these NBA guys? For me, the most recent ones, obviously, but, but even Dwayne Bacon was someone who I didn't expect to see. Mm. Jason Capono, I remember, <laughs> I loved him on the... Uh, what was the game? NBA Live, yeah. Was a hell of a shooter, Jimmer for that. Jimmer, uh, I was Jimmer. about Wesley Johnson, right? Tony Delk, Derek Williams. Oh yeah. yeah. Mario Hezonia after the Euroleague, I think, came back to Panathinaikos, right? Yep, true. However, the game looks absolutely different. Different. Yeah, it looks slow, but I think it's because it of the slow. shot clock, right? It's Thirty the, the seconds. Biggest, the biggest reason. No, oh, look, all these Barcelona fans. All Barca fans. have fans on the road. Hmm. That's not what you see these days, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> They're just playing 30 second possessions. And imagine if you get an offensive rebound, it means you're probably playing defense for one, for one minute, minute straight. <laughs> but you know what I also notice a lot? There's no off ball actions happening. Look, everyone's no. just standing around and waiting for something to happen. To be honest, I think this Panathinaikos team in their prime would lose to the current Panathinaikos team oh, by, yeah. by 40 points. That's, oh, by 40 points. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the athleticism, yeah. the skill level, the different rules. Dominique Wilkins wow. would, would provide some athleticism. Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. He would be okay in today's NBA, in yeah, today's but, Euroleague. Yeah, but everyone else, man. Yeah, everyone else looks a bit like you said before the game. Like they're part-time basketball players. <laughs> Except nice for... Yeah, some, yeah, I was going to say him because he actually went to the NBA after the season. Um, he was a promising guy. Tall. Uh, 218, right? 2 meters, 18 centimeters. Some zone defense from Pantan here. Was that, was, that's probably one of the more popular ways to defend back in the day, yeah. I feel like. So, uh, especially since people weren't too used to shooting threes like they are right now. Yeah. Look, they're wide open. Yeah, yeah, but they don't want to take the shot. Oof. I mean, Dominic Wilkins was so athletic even at 36 years old. Like, he's looking like the most athletic guy on the court right now. Obviously, he's a superstar, but he's 36 at the same time. Uh, just shows what the level of physicality, Oof. athleticism was in the EuroLeague back in the day. And there's nice a lot commentary. of fans. There's a lot of Panathinaikos fans. Nothing new. You said Barcelona fans, but Panathinaikos is dominating in this uh, Paris stadium. And what was funny that actually Dominic Wilkins was born in Paris because mm. his dad uh, was serving for U.S. Army, and you know, and when he was born, he was in France. So it's very symbolic that this Final Four is happening mm. in, in Paris. Yeah, Alvertis is another guy who I didn't think, you know, was playing in this final. I only remember him from 2009, 2007, when he was already, uh, you know, on the bench most of, most of the time. And you see him here right at his, like, youth peak, you know. The icon. Yeah. Icon of Pan 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 icon. They call him the best shooter in the Greek basketball history. Mm. Very interesting person. Uh, he actually had the conflict with Jelko oh, Bradovic. Oh! Three and one. Three to, and to one? your point. To your point. Yes. He had a conflict with Jelko Bradovic when Jelko took over. Uh, they were like uh, arguing in the locker room as well because the story leaked out to media. But it took only five minutes to Jelko to get him into the locker room to talk to him and to see the person he was. He, they came back from the locker room basically hugging each other, you know, mm. so and since then, you know, it was all clear with the hierarchy in the club. But it's because he got a lesser role uh, as years went by. He With Jelko, he started getting less and less minutes, started being off the bench and not the leader as he was used to. 
And this is probably when Panathinaikos and in general Greek basketball was really at the heights, you know. I mean, Nikos was at the heights later as well, but in general, this is the 96 and I would say the it 90s. was the beginning for the clubs mm. because uh, no Greek team has won the yearly title before this Final Four, to be honest. So they had good Olympiakos team, good Panathinaikos team, but nobody was winning the yearly. Mm. And you see those six stars on Panathinaikos club logo right now? Yeah. It's the yearly titles. And this is back the first one. 20 this is the first years one. ago, yeah, 20 years right. ago, That's you know, when they started. didn't have a single star. So when you take it into consideration, in 28 years to win six EuroLeague titles, mm. that's a lot. But to come back, oh, also another thing, they're jumping for, for the for the ball again. In the second half yeah, as well. It's, it's odd to see. But to come wow. back to what you were saying, also, uh, Panathinaikos was definitely an underdog in this, in this game. First of all, they finished third in their group. Uh, they also lost both games against Barcelona before. So Barcelona was a clear favorite. They were uh, number one in their group. Uh, and uh, I think the fact that Panathinaikos won, which we will see, uh, was a bit, bit of a shocker. Yeah, they, they have skill. Like, they have skill with Oof. just the athletic ability. Who's that? Kernan Schrauss. Oh, my. Amazing player. Like I said, he looks so, so this day yeah. and age, you know? Doesn't look like he belongs in the 90s. If, if he was exactly. playing like that, like... 10 years later, he would for sure be an NBA player. The problem was that the, the scouting wasn't that advanced mm. and they didn't take risks with players like Karnishovas. And, you know, it was just the right, wrong timing for him to make it to the NBA. But he was a superstar in Europe for sure. And actually that year in 1996, he was the player of the year in Europe. Actually, if we want to talk about a little bit about Dominique and, and uh, coach uh, Malkovic, there was a lot of sparks, for example, uh, when Wilkins came to Athens uh, the first few weeks. Uh, they went to this training camp in uh, France, I think. And uh, Malkovich said, OK, now you run five kilometers around these mountains and you come back. And he was like, coach, I came here not to be a runner. I want to play basketball. <laughs> but coach uh, Malkovich didn't care about these things. He looked at everyone the same way didn't treat anyone as a star and basically that was a tough adjustment period for Dominic to go from an NBA star to being treated as just another player. But he had his own, you know, star uh, welcoming in Athens. 13,000 people came to his first open practice in Oaka. 13,000 people just was Dominic Wilkins practicing with the team. Thousands of people were in the airport in Athens to meet him. So. There were a lot of expectations, and of course, it was worth it. I cannot recall any famous practice, to be honest. Uh, Not a practice, but days. maybe practice. Yeah, I can't. But, but uh, maybe in airport. I in mean, the airport. Yeah. yeah. Maria Hazonia had this great uh, welcoming. Sharas Yasukavich had this great uh, situation. Lamelo Ball had this great uh, welcoming. Lamelo Ball. I was there actually. I was in that airport. <laughs> it was crazy. Anyway, there are only two referees, right? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. We had uh, so two referees can, for quite for some a time. long time. For a long time. So they don't see like sixty percent of what's happening. <laughs> I think <laughs> you can grab jerseys, you can do all kinds of stuff. I think you can get away with a lot of it, but you cannot get away with a travel like Kornishovas just didn't. Can you get away with a block in a chase down block in the end though, or stopped clock? We'll see. Wait, for wait, five wait, wait, seconds. Wait. Hey, I don't know. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Why is everybody slipping on the court? Like I think there was some problems with condensation on the on the floor. Because before we saw them cleaning the. Hey, it's another not efficient. One. It's not an efficient shot. How another it? one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about another one? By the way, although the beginning for Dominic was really challenging, in the last six games prior to the final game, he was averaging like more than 20 points per game, something around mm. 25, and his season average was also more than 20. Although Jora Arlauskas, I think he was the top scorer that year. Yeah, so Vrankovic played in Boston. And, you know, Europeans had this image of being big time smokers. So everybody in Boston thought that, you know, he is just smoking cigarettes all the time, just spending time with different ladies, you know, every single night. But actually, he was one of the, you know, he had one of the biggest hearts. Uh, he was very big time family man. And one of the funniest uh, persons in Pantnaikos, beloved player in the club, and 
he I was told that he was the only guy who could make Nikos Galis laugh because Galis was super serious guy but he was joking with Galis all the time and he was also funny because at some point there was this game against Olympiakos and of course the rivalry was there for for many years and at some point of the game he decided to sit on Olympiakos bench bench you know to 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 fi- to put up his shoe laces you know mm-hmm. just to, to fix his shoes of course Olympiakos fans didn't like it but there was this iconic photo of him sitting on Olympiakos bench, you know, surrounded by these Olympiakos players. We know who definitely wasn't smoking cigarettes, Dominic Wilkins, because when he came, he was actually, you know, struggling with all this training wasn't regime. Or was wasn't definitely wasn't because he was uh, struggling with a training regime that was quite intense. And uh, he said to Malkovich, I have asthma, you know. And Malkovich said, what asthma? You're, you're making this up. I don't believe you, basically. And he just made him do the things. He didn't care that uh, the guy said, I, I have asthma. I cannot run around like, like this much and stuff. He didn't care. He didn't believe it. He said, you're getting paid this much money. You have the res- re- you can get the, the inhaler, <laughs> you know. You can get the inhaler. You have the golden inhaler, basically. That's such a crazy way to think. Well, that's 90s Europe, you know. (laughs) Well, I think you can still find coaches who do that. Coach, I have an injury. What injury? (laughs) You can run, you can play. You get paid enough. Yeah. (laughs) I'm not sure about smoking, but what I'm definitely sure that Dominic Wilkins loved Greek nightlife. Oh, really? We all know <laughs> that Greek and Athens, they're famous for the, their nightlife. It was it was a thing back in the day as well. Oh, yeah. Did you know that Alvertus twisted his ankle and played through it regardless? That was another oh, yes. thing that something... Um, what so ankle? What, what ankle? An- exactly. What life. ankle? What ankle? <laughs> you can play. Ooh. Offensive and that's offensive foul. foul. But but it, was he in the circle though? There is no circle. <laughs> Replay, <laughs> please. <laughs> there is no circle. Wow. I believe he is up to nine tonight. Commentator said, "I believe he's up to nine. There were no boxers <laughs> probably at that time. <laughs> as as far as I can remember, counting, he, he's he about right. nine points in right now. And it, look." He does have nine. He probably points. was writing down on the paper. That's very light. I don't, yeah. I don't no, think no, no. there were life stats. Yeah, they at they that definitely time. were for writing sure down. Not. Oh, for sure. What life stats, man? <laughs> what life stats? <laughs> what internet? <laughs> Barcelona are rushing. You can see that. <laughs> wow! What, what the hell wow. was that? Oh, wow! Uh, he should have scored, but I He's think he was Luka fouled. Things, he was man. fouled. That was crazy. He's Who was doing this? Milos Teodosic things. <laughs> And it's not like he just passed it. Though. No, no, <laughs> he, no. Did, he did this. <laughs> yeah, then. yeah, yeah. What's that all about? Uh, I don't know. Can they come Ooh, back? Nice, nice ball, ball movement. movement. Exactly. Dominic Bridges. Ooh, dang it. there's got to be highlights. <laughs> what? what, what? <laughs> Shaq in the full play. <laughs> uh, at least he hey, made hey, it. Hey, okay, okay, hey, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. having fun. Okay, it's all okay, good. Okay. No, this guy is different shooting free throws. Why? Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, I guess. One-handed ones. First of all, how the tall Sohan is he? Sohan style. He looks really short, like one meter eighty at least, uh, or he, his, at most. His wingspan looks even shorter than that. Wow. <laughs> what this shot is? I, I'm now expecting to see know. someone do uh, uh, underhand. Underhand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After this, I'm expecting that. There is one player in, in Europe doing that. Yeah, on the, For for the Greeks that are watching, was was he like the best free throw shooter <laughs> in Panathinaikos team shooting <laughs> one handed? One hand. And again, he's with the ball. Yeah, they're fouling and he's me, fou- me, Yeah, me, yeah. He's being fouled. Even though there's one minute forty two left. Because it's basically free possessions three left possessions, in one yeah. forty two. So <laughs> <laughs> you have to foul. That's actually Man. true. Wow. Galileo, Galileo. There you okay. go. And one. Oh, and one as well. Oh Where my was God. the foul, though? Foul? I didn't see, but... Let's see it. Let's see the replay. Where was the foul? Not there. That uh, was maybe foul. there. Okay, so that was him. No, I think no, that touch was, his no, hand. No, he no, Yanakis didn't touch him. He smacked him on the hand. Replay. On the arm. No! Look! Under the basket. Look. Boom. There was... Contact. Mm, I think but, he... but also look at how high Wilkins is flying in this. But this game was... Panathinaikos is like, that was one point. Wilkins to be the hero. Uh-huh. Double team. Ooh, Double team. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, why, the, why doesn't he? That's oh, crazy. they need. Well, okay. 30 more and seconds. And now they're not following uh, him. So then they'll have like four seconds and. 
probably or so. We don't know how much is Only, on the shot. Yeah, it's for four second differential. Why they're not fouling? With that speed that they have back in the day, you know, they're taking risk with like four seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it takes them know. like six or seven Follow seconds to run. That shoots with one hand. What a chaos, bro. I don't know about this oh, whole what a chaos. Oh, Another my slip. God. Oh my god. Oh what my god. The hell? What the fuck? Look at the clock! No, four, it's like 4.9 <laughs> for 10 seconds, man! Oh, it's crazy, man. Come on! Pantacos players, they're also saying that. What's going on? What the hell is going replay, on? Replay, we need replay, replay. Coach challenge, replay, coach replay. challenge, replay. Okay, let's, let's look, look, look at look. this. That's ridiculous, man, what just happened. Okay, okay. so look, look. The, the one, the clock two, is like... Three, we need, we, we need four, also a timer. Five. But also this That's block, late. man. Did you see it? The crazy block? That's late. That yeah, should no, be I know. two points. Yeah, no, I know. Wow. So, so two you're like crucial mafia, mistakes. But for <laughs> Barcelona. No, four point wow. What actually. do you mean? No. How is it four point In what sense? Okay, let's let's see it again. Speed. Let's see it again. Speed. Yeah. One. Two. Yeah, but that's three, two points for Barcelona four, here. Five. Six. I don't know. Seven, I think eight, eight, the back nine, nine, Ten seconds. Almost no, I say eight, eight, seconds. eight seconds. Eight seconds. Okay. 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 okay, okay. Yeah, the shot. The, the, hell? the shot can, clock is nuts, but the the, we, the shot touched the backboard first. Okay, let's stop. Can we watch the replay of this block? Okay, so let's just look at this block. Cause Augustus is saying it was a uh, late, uh, like the ball touched the the backboard first. Yeah, the backboard. Okay. First of all, how he got back is crazy. Yeah. I uh, think I think he touched. Mm, his... Yeah, he touched the backboard. Mm. I mean. Uh, Mantas, frame by frame, please. <laughs> frame yeah, by frame. We can go frame by frame. <laughs> from, the, from, the basket, from master please. camera, please. You're like the fucking... It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. The backboard. Backboard. Uh, and then he touches it. So, two <sighs> crucial mistakes. Is, First of all, know. game clock stopped for 10 seconds. Then we see this illegal block. It should have been called a violation. Two points mm -hmm. for Barca. They're up by one with... Who knows how many seconds left because the, the uh, shot clock is over. You know? <laughs> There's no shot clock. No, uh, no Probably more. like one or two seconds remaining. Oh, oh nine, I think, or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to rewatch it, like to check, you know, if if let's say the game clock was running as it's supposed to? Yeah. If he would have yeah, yeah, yeah. made that so, shot on time. Okay, so we have a timer. One, two, three, four. Man. So it would be so it'd be one second left. Man. But also the, the the clock was stuck for four for eight seconds. That's Man. insane. I don't know. Wow. I don't know. It's now so confusing because, <laughs> I mean, imagine this this is called differently, and then Nikos doesn't win this. You know, we we don't know how the rest of the history would unfold because this inspired so much uh, basketball in Greece. I would assume you know this win and but Nikos fans became more involved with basketball after this. I don't know, man. Imagine it happened today. With all then, these... Then we would see the replay, the replay social media and, and it stuff. Would never, it would never happen, really. How, how could knows? it happen? I don't know, man. If they, if they would check if the block was legal, they could do that, right? I don't know, man. So that day? No, no, in the modern day. Oh, right now. They would probably... Let's say they screwed up with this game clock. And they continue to play. I don't even know. You how cannot you count that. this basket if you don't stop the game clock, right? I don't even know That's how to fix that really. Barcelona was a. They made an appeal after mm -hmm. this game, and until four in the morning, they were sitting at the hotel or at the headquarters of FIBA, because FIBA was organizing the game, and they tried to appeal and say, "Hey guys, we have to replay the last five seconds of the game, you know, because we had the ball." There was this illegal block, there was this mistake with the game clock. So they were trying to replay the game, but although FIBA admitted ref's mistake and apologized to Barcelona, they, they said we basically cannot do nothing about that. When has this wow. ever worked? When when did they ever replay? Like all these times that we see and hear about this. 2001 uh, EuroLeague semi-final game. You remember? We watched it. Mm -hmm. Virtus. Yeah, we watched uh, the final. Yeah, so Tau Ceramica against Iris or Ayak, Ayak, yeah. So they actually replayed the game, mm. the actual game itself. But imagine this happens, the exact same situation is the opposite. Panathinaikos are on the fast break, they get a block that should have counted, like two points, 
And imagine what happens then that if Barcelona wins on this possession. And if Maybe. even if even if the appeal is like given permission to to replay the game, it's not the same situation. Here you have a one on zero fast break, and basically, you know, nobody in front of you. And if you replay it with the last five seconds, you're probably taking the ball out of bounds, like not probably for sure. And this is a setup defense, so it's like one million times harder to score. That that's just crazy, for so many events happen in in this uh, you know you know one after the another, and just wow for Barcelona to hear yeah we're sorry we made a mistake but mm. we can't do anything and you lost the final because of that, man man tough. After the game, Barcelona's president Salvador Alemani had called his team as a moral European champions. And Pantnaikos coach Bozdar Malkovic responded that if so, you have to give your players their bonuses. So <laughs> that was a good job by Boja. Nice one, nice one. And you know, there's a crazy story of actually Pantnaikos playing against Benetton and they were in a series 1-1. And Stojko Vrankovic actually blocked uh, Jelko Rebic's winning shot. And after the game, uh, some reporter asked something about it. And he said, I'm just saving one more block for the final. Wow. <laughs> or so he for, knew it. For later. Yeah. Yeah. And that for this season is my uh, one more block. And this wow. happened. <laughs> That's no crazy. way. Hey, no way. That's Ain't the prophecy. No That's the prophecy. Come on. By the way, Stojko Vrankovic blocked 10 shots in 2001. So he still holds the Euroleague yeah. block shots record in a single game. And actually, after this block shot, uh, shots and championship uh, celebration, he had to skip. He missed all the celebration in the locker room because he was in the dop doping control uh, room. Okay, because wow. I, I don't know how he got back to block that. That recovery that was, was insane. crazy. Yeah. It looked like it was just a clear path, nobody's there, and you just got back. <laughs> For a guy standing at 218, yeah. that's wow. crazy. Wow. Yeah, then the, you definitely need to drug test. <laughs> the, the, the drug, uh, yeah, the doping test controller saw that and was like, yeah, we take him. Yeah. We yeah. take him. This we guy take, come on now. Come on now. Maybe, maybe Wilkins after for his jumping <laughs> ability at 36. And you don't know. You know, back in the day, the testing was very good. You don't know. We, These guys could get away with a lot. Fun fact, uh, Dominic Wilkins actually hasn't finished his season in Panathinaikos. He didn't finish the domestic league, you mean? Nope. Because, you know, after celebrating your league title, he played back a little bit. And it didn't went along very well with Bojdar Malkovic. So mm -hmm. he decided to leave the team uh, just before the Greek uh, league playoffs. And actually, Panathinaikos lost to Olympiakos in, in Game 5. And actually, this Game 5 ended up uh, by Olympiakos winning 73 to 38. And what was interesting and funny that Panathinaiko Olympiakos fans had this chant uh, for Dominic Wilkins. It sounded like Irfes Dia Yada Dominic, Dominic, Dominic. And in English, it means like, Dominic, uh, you came to Greece only for picnic, Dominic, Dominic. <laughs> so. <laughs> My favorite part was uh, the Greek Donato <laughs> chant. <laughs> chanting Greek chants, yeah. And I was like, uh, how many bad words is he yeah, saying? Yeah. To be honest, does, does no, he know? no cursing, no cursing. <laughs> I was so shocked that there were no curse, Creative. no bad words involved. And back in the day, uh, Panathinaikos and Olympiakos fans, they were allowed to support their teams in away games. At least I was told so. So these were family friendly times in Greece. Guys who are Greek, please let us know if Donatas messed up that chant or not. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> we need to know. Also, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you in the next episode.